You're wondering whether or not you're getting enough B vitamins? Well, if you have adrenal fatigue or suspect you might, you're likely deficient. And I'm going to tell you why and what to do about it. But first, a little bit about the bees. During the past century, as our laboratory and research capabilities improved, researchers all over the world were discovering various chemicals in the body and in our cells, right? Some of these chemicals were discovered to be vital to the function of the human body, and we needed to get them in the new environment so they, uh, from our food, so they became known as vitamins. Humans can actually make numerous chemicals and molecules all by themselves, but there are some we can't make on our own, so they're absolutely vital, right? We have to get them in our food. So there's fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin K. There's vitamin C. And then there's a class of numerous vitamins in the B category. Depends on your source, but there's like 15, 13, 20 sometimes. Some of these B vitamins, they're known by their number, like B12 and B6, numbered in the order that they were discovered. But others, they commonly go by their, their actual name, like pantothene or folate or biotin or inositol. So now that you know that little bit of history, right, let's get to the practical stuff of the importance of B vitamins and how important they are to your adrenals and your stress response system. At a microscopic level, all bodily functions happen because of various chemical reactions occurring at a cellular level. You can think of a chemical reaction as the body taking one molecule and changing it into a different molecule by adding something or removing something else. The adding of and removing of these different chemical structures on these molecules, they're controlled by enzymes. And enzymes are simply specialized proteins that perform these various functions. So some enzymes might remove an oxygen molecule here and put it back here, remove a carbon here, replace it here, and, and others. But in order for those enzymes to perform their function of these changing of the molecules, there are certain cofactors that are necessary for those chemical reactions to occur. And these cofactors are largely minerals and vitamins, especially the Bs. Now, before I tell you the, where these all important B vitamins come into play, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel so you get new notifications about new releases and uh, live events that, that, that we do as well. Okay, so all, all the B vitamins are critical to proper function of all these various enzymes, and hence the control of these reactions. They are essential for our bodies to perform any function you can possibly think of. Think a thought, move a muscle, detoxify, build a neurotransmitter, everything. The different B vitamins are needed for different various enzymes. And without those B vitamins and cofactors, that cellular machinery and function in our body, it just grinds to a halt. We as humans need to obtain these various cofactors, including those B vitamins, in our food supply. Real whole foods, as they were put on this earth unadulterated, contain all those cofactors, minerals, and vitamins we need. Now, sadly, the modernization of our food supply has us consuming foods, and some of these things should not be called food that are deficient in these minerals and vitamins. For example, cereals, right, they're so highly processed in a process of high heat and high pressure, all the naturally occurring vitamins that were once in that whole grain are destroyed. This is why they're fortified with vitamins after manufacturing, which basically means they spray synthetic vitamins back on the processed grains. This is a terribly unnatural and inadequate process, and it was one of the reasons that contributes to a deficiency in all of these vitamins, including the bees. There is, however, another reason as to why we become deficient in all vitamins um, separate from our intake and our food supply. The overuse of our vitamins can occur if our metabolism is driving certain pathways too often. Think of this as our, like our overconsumption of oil, for instance, which depletes our natural reserves. One of the most common driving factors of an overuse of the B vitamins is stress. Stress in all its forms turns on fight-or-flight physiology, which drives a bunch of metabolic processes and their enzymes excessively, and this can deplete our B vitamins as well as some other cofactors. As that B vitamin supply becomes deficient, they can't perform these vital functions that they have in these various enzyme processes that are required for throughout the body. And this effect is global within our body. It affects every cell, every tissue, every organ. The replenishment of these B vitamins and other cofactors is crucial in the treatment of anyone with an overactive stress response system, whether that's through genetics or just excessive chronic stress over time. All of the B vitamins perform separate and distinct functions. Although sometimes there's crossover, certain enzymes require more than one B vitamin, but they generally need to be replenished together. Now, the easiest way to do that is simply take a high quality multivitamin that contains the complex of all the B vitamins. There's also some separate B complex vitamins that only contain Bs, but I find, you know, we're often deficient in, in a bunch of other stuff, including the Bs, so a good quality multivitamin 
makes a little more sense. Now, what about patients who actually become overstimulated when taking supplementary B vitamins? And in general, these patients, they already know that B vitamins overstimulate them prior to coming in to see me because of their past experience. Now, if that's the case, with regard to treatment, we have to focus more so on getting the vitamins directly from our food supply to be able to avoid the supplementation. The foods richest in the most bioavailable forms of these B vitamins, animal meats, organs from these animals, and products made from these animals. The replenishment of those B vitamins is an essential piece of the therapeutic puzzle in healing adrenal fatigue and fixing an overactive stress response system. This is causing so much wear and tear in your body and contributing to so many debilitating symptoms. That said, it's only one piece of the puzzle, and it's when you put all these pieces of the puzzle together, all at the same time, when you can finally get ahead of this and heal once and for all. Thanks for tuning in. All my best.